Hey guys, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time. Today, we're gonna look at a 2021 Voyage, model number 3033BH. It's a it's a big bunk model. It's Winnebago's high-end travel trailer. Uh, it's got a lot of features on it, really high-end finish. Uh, feels almost like a fifth wheel inside, guys. Very, very nice. We got two solar panels on the roof. We got two bunks in the back. We got front queen, side slide. Uh, it's 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 really nice. Um, so let's get after it. I do want to mention big bad bodacious beautiful even bashful Brandon Sir Hannah Myers on the camera today holding that down for us. Let's uh, let's get after it right here is our 20 or sorry This is our front power jack 30 pound for paint tanks and then a battery in a box and behind here They've actually put the spare tire underneath the front tongue area here. Just making that a little bit easier to get to molded Front fiberglass cap, good looking uh, LED eyebrows, a uh, little bit of a unibrow here, and then standard eyebrows on the side. Uh, aluminum frame, fiberglass skin, really tall passer stores in through here. It's a little bit skinnier on this side, but wider on the other side. Outside shower, you got your city water connection, your fresh water fill, battery disconnect, our charge controllers right here, cable and satellite inlet. And then just to bring all that stuff up and in, you just take out this plug in here, bring the hose up and through there, easy peasy. Uh, there is a secondary fresh water fill right here. And then we do have four stabilizer jacks that are electric and they're individually switched. Rack and pinion style slide right there. <clears throat> you have your black water flush kit here at the back. Uh, power jack switches there, 50 amp service. They give you this nice green light here, letting you know you have hydro at the site which is fantastic. There's no spare tire here in the back, it's underneath at the front. We do have an accessory receiver hitch. This is not meant to pull things, just meant to like carry bikes, that kind of thing. Roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. We're prepped for a Voyageur uh, backup camera to go along with our Voyage travel trailer. Um, and that's a prep, not the camera, the prep for that is up there. Two burner stove top, plumbed in sink. We got ourselves a light back here. Uh, Receptacles are right through there, and then a two cubic foot um, electric only fridge. Now, good size awning, it covers our kitchen, which is key. So, it starts right here at the back, goes all the way forward. <clears throat> Gives us some really good awning coverage. We got ourselves a kitchen window, outside receptacle, furnace vent, 10 gallon gas electric water heater, which is exceptional for a travel trailer. Lower ride, step above, right solid to the ground there. Good looking 15 inch aluminum rims, nitro fill. Really good looking trailer. It's even better on the inside, guys. So let's have a look. We're inside that Voyage 3033BH. Thanks for tuning back in. You're standing at the entrance to the uh, the main bedroom there, looking towards the rear of the trailer. Great living space. Lots of height here. Like I said, feels like we're in a fifth wheel, but we're pulling a travel trailer. We have ourselves our TV right here facing our couch, which is a tri fold sofa. We'll get to that here shortly. We got uh, storage here, built in DVD player with uh, some storage on either side of that fireplace. The fireplace puts out heat, which is nice. Um, <clears throat> now towards the back here, we got our double over double bunks. Nice handle to get up and in these bunks. We have lights in each bunk with windows. Now our main door is right here. So we're walking through. We got this wicked closet slash pantry. So you got a spot, kick off your shoes, hang up your jackets, store your goods in through there. Lots of storage, big fan of that kind of walk-in pantry thing. Oh, I skipped over this. We got good storage here behind our outside kitchen from the outside, but good storage there for the kids' clothes. Now, into our uh, bathroom, big stainless steel sink, especially for a you know travel trailer. We got a medicine cabinet, storage right through there, and then we got a good angle on this uh, <clears throat> this toilet here, so lots of space for our squat check. One thing is we got vents in here, right? We have, I think we have three vents, but they're all power, open, and close. Which is really cool because you know I can reach this, but if you're five two, it's gonna be hard to reach this switch. So nice and easy to open that up and turn that fan on. Okay, not something you see every day on a travel trip. Lots of height in through here. My head's not in the skylight at all. I love this shower door. It's kind of like a, a different version from that Nautilus one we see in the Imagines, but very very durable. It feels like uh, you know good stuff. Now leaving the bathroom. We talked about the trifold sofa. 
Uh, that's going to turn into a bed for two people. We got windows all in behind it. Windows behind our dinette as well. Uh, this dinette's going to turn into a, a trailer for you. And then <laughs> the, <laughs> the dinette is going to turn into a bed for you. We are in a trailer. Thanks for laughing at that, Brandon. Awesome, possum. Now, I do want to focus back on this kitchen because this kitchen is, you know, it's, it's, it's really, really well done, really usable space. We got drawers in through here. All right, nice thing. Look how far they come out. That's that's great use of space. Cupboard right there. Seamless countertops. Um, tape stuck in my hand. Sorry, a little technical difficulties. Stainless steel sink underneath our uh, our sink cover. Boom style uh, faucet. More storage. More storage, and then our oven. Blue LED lights on our uh, knobs there. Three burner stove top with a glass stove top cover. Now, further to here is our pantry. Don't forget, we got all that pantry space as you walk in as well. But we all have all this. And we have ourselves a 10 cubic foot 12 volt fridge shelf above that. Convection microwave. All right, so you're actually able to cook things in through here. Cupboard here above. You got hinges to hold those up. Cupboard right here. Just a ton of storage, guys. A great kitchen. All right, very clean. No like frills, just, just clean lines, looks hot. Now, as we come into the bedroom, we got ourselves a full-size queen. We got her hanging over there. <clears throat> we got some more hanging over here. We got bedside tables and a lift, little bit of a lifted ledge. We have USB and receptacles down here. We got another one of those power vents we were talking about. And then kind of built into the back side of that kitchen is this closet. You're gonna have to, good work, buddy. Okay. Awesome, awesome sauce. And then we have a secondary door. The reason the secondary door is important is that when the slides close, you still have access to your bedroom on the side of the road. Awesome, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. You can email us here at sales at or you can call us at 705-833-2539. Have a good day.